Now, we all know in Borderlands 2, there is a litany of hot NPCs inside of the game. I'm talking your Lilis, I'm talking your Mayas, I'm talking your Moxies, and of course, I'm talking about the goddess herself, Ellie. Now, before we get inside the top 10 hottest NPCs of Borderlands 2, I just want to say number one is going to shock you. This entire list is going to shock you because I, the sex symbol of Borderlands 2, with the BZK25, have the best top 10 list for the hottest NPCs of Borderlands 2. Now, before we we get into the video i just want to thank today's video sponsor zest ever just wake up after that long weekend on a monday morning just go oh i don't want to go into work i'm so tired well zest has the solution for you with their new hydration mix drinks i will say i've been using this product so much in my everyday life and i absolutely love it it's been getting me through those tough mornings where i just don't want to wake up and i just go back to sleep i personally have been using the pineapple blueberry hydration mix with 100 milligrams of caffeine and they also have tea and also canned energy drinks. Now, I will say, again, I've been using this in my everyday life, and it has the BZK sex symbol stamp of approval. So go to livezesty.com forward slash BZK25. Link will be down in the description. We're also in my Twitch stream, exclamation point zest, and the link will be right there as well. Again, livezesty.com forward slash BZK25. I've zest. Thank you so much for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back in the top 10. Now coming in at number 10, we got Maya. I know this may be a controversial pick, and I'm here to tell you why. She she would have been at least top three in this scenario except with the events of Borderlands 3 where she becomes dust and you know you suck sucker up with the fucking dust vac 9000 and I will say for that she gets to mode it down to number 10 I'm sorry if all you Maya simps out there you have r slash rule 34 Borderlands for you go on the reddit also by the way Borderlands reddit please unban me coming at number nine another controversial pick I don't know how I rated this one so low but we got the fire spider ants from Borderlands 2 Preferably the ones right outside the dust behind Ellie's garage. Now, these spider ants are not like any other. Now, before you say, oh my god, he and the animals, he's such a disgusting freak. First off, spiders fucking scare me. But spider ants are dope as fuck, especially these ones where their skin, their own flesh has melted off and they are now a fire symbiote. They are reaching about 13,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right, we're using freedom mutants in this one, boys. And I just want to say, for all the Maya stands out there, again, yes, the fire spider ants top it on the top 10 hottest MP. PCs of all time 13,000 Fahrenheit down to like you know Maya can get up to around 100 Fahrenheit on a nice Michigan summer day so I just want to say fire spider ants number nine now look I know I'm going to get some hate in my comment section for this but number eight is the pyro skags listen here buds pyro skags are just a lot better than fire spider ants mainly because of course as I said earlier spiders scared the fuck out of me and if I could purge the world of all the spiders I would live a longer happier life second off in lore reasons pyro skags are just hotter than fire spider ants coming in a crisp clean 14,000 degrees fahrenheit and also they don't have stupid bullshit mechanics where they just hide from you the pyro skags run at you and try to bite your dick off so again that's why they're number eight moving on to number seven Coming at number seven, we got the Ghost Rider cosplayers and the Burning Psychos. Now, honestly, I didn't think about putting them on this list up until I actually looked at them, and goddamn, I have some reasons why, and I have some search histories to delete. First off, that skull. What does that skull do? I will tell you. It will shoot fiery hellfire at you. It's like Charizard using flamethrower on Ash all the time in Pokemon. That's right, I'm also a Pokemon nerd. Second off, look at their eight pack. Holy fucking shit, they are hotter than goddamn Texas on a summer afternoon. And also third, you know that they possess the schlong long enough to rival the Eiffel Tower, buds. Listen, number seven, Burning Psychos. Honestly, also an underrated enemy in my opinion because they're actually really cool and I really like their design. So again, number seven, Burning Psychos. Coming at number eight, we got the TF2 Pyros. Now, I will say a lot of people will be shocked on why they are number six and not number one. And I'm here to tell you that the flamethrower is... Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm d d Fix the damn script. It says TF2. I forgot that this is supposed to be a Borderlands... Top 10, not a TF2. What a ripoff character. 
Coming in at number 5, we got another controversial pick, but the second named NPC on this list, Incinerator Clayton. Now, Incinerator Clayton honestly is the Borderlands 2 version of the modern day simp. This man has beheaded three people, set their skulls on fire, put them on sticks, and then parade it around worshipping the Firehawk, and also worshipping the ground the Firehawk walks on. Now, mind you, people are probably asking who is the Firehawk, and it's Lilith. She may or may not be on this list. We'll see about that one. But again, coming in at number 5, Incinerator Clayton just because he's the Borderlands 2 version of the modern day simp. Now coming up, we have our first DLC character and also our second cosplayer in the Dynamic Sorcerer himself, aka Handsome Jack, but as the devil pretty much, or as Satan. Honestly, this character design is really fucking hot and also, let's be honest here, he gifted him the power to fly. Nobody actually has that besides wearing a damn jetpack. This man just took some scientists and was like, hey, by the way, give me the power to fly, bitch, and they did. Now he shoots fireballs out of his hands and also fireballs out of his damn little wand, but he's also super easy to kill. And I would have put him at number one, but I have a little secret for number one that you guys are going to love. So again, stay tuned for number one. Now coming at number three, we got our second DLC character in Pyro Pete. Now Pyro Pete takes simping to a whole new level where Incinerator Clayton won't even go. This man literally has imprisoned Moxie and probably several other people in his damn weird ass chambers after you kill him inside the Torg DLC. But I am also here to tell you that once you shoot off that helmet, you see that crisp, clean, bald look, and you just into his eyes and I can see why people get trapped in this lair because holy shit I want to be trapped in this lair but also he's the first and only raid boss on this list and honestly I feel like the man needs a little bit of credit because you know everybody killed him with the evil smasher glitch the pimp hab glitch pretty much any glitch and you know you would kill Pyro Pete with it his loot drops really aren't that good but goddamn, his looks are good so that's why he's at number three now, coming in at number two, we got Matchstick. Now, you may be wondering, who the hell is Matchstick? And I'll tell you. Honestly, it's the midget that pops out of the porta potty when they're talking to the simp himself in San Rio Clayton, and then you burn him alive by using the Iron Dragon on Captain Flint's ship. Now, why he's so high on this list is because, genuinely, when I first saw Matchstick, I died on the floor laughing. I was like, no shot, I'm going to burn somebody alive. And it's a guy that's living in a porta potty. And also, I would actually love like a whole entire like three mission side arc of just why the fuck Matchstick really wants to do this. Like you have a deep conversation with him, maybe with some tea and crumpets. Who knows? We can go British style on them. But honestly, it's one of the funniest reactions I have ever had to an NPC. So that's why he's number two. Now coming at number one, everybody may be asking, where's Moxie? Where's Lilith? Where's Ellie? Hell, he's sick enough to put two animals in here. Where's Axe and I'll be honest. It is a robot, but it's not Axe and Cern. The number one spot in the top 10 hottest NPCs ever in Borderlands history is the hot loader from Borderlands 2. I am here to tell you, once Elon Musk makes his sex robot, because we all know that it's coming, he will take the design of the Hyperion hot loader from Borderlands 2 and make it into a reality with it having a portable fleshlight instead of shooting fiery hot hellfire flames at you. But also, let's be honest, it has the word hot in it, so of course it's going to be number one. And honestly, I'm here to tell you that, yes, I am willing to fuck this robot till the day that I die and with that being said thank you so much for watching honestly I don't even know why I made a top 10 hottest NPCs list ever probably because I'm sick in the head but also if you're sick in the head remember to like comment and subscribe all that crunchy youtuber shit that I have to say at the end of each video and also I just really want to say thank you guys for all the support recently I know I keep on saying that in all my videos but seriously you guys are absolutely crushing it and I really do appreciate that this is a little me talk right here again shout out to the people at Zest for hooking me up with the sponsored bit of the video and also thank you guys for all the subs recently and for all the views and i do want to just tackle something real quick i have a video out there that is the max level video for borderlands 3 that video is complete satire please for the love of god realize that a lot of these videos are complete satire and i'm just screaming into my microphone for you guys to be entertained but seriously i love each and every single one of you guys you guys are absolutely amazing and remember like comment and subscribe all that cringy youtuber shit and i'll see you guys in the next one again shout out to zest for the sponsor the video remember livingzesty.com forward slash bzk25 and go follow me on twitch i'll be streaming some borderlands here soon but i'm also been streaming some tarkov also i have a tiktok everything will be down in the comment section below and peace out love you all and bye bye